What was the best karma as a bitch moment you have witnessed? I was working in a pub in Liverpool and had just arrived. About 10 a.m. To start my shift. I knocked on the door and waited for someone to let me in. I became aware of some voices shouting and turned around to see two guys. Shirts off. Swaggering towards me talking in a language I didn't understand. They came right up to me and what little English they did speak came out. They called me a fucking whore and a fucking bitch etc. Nasty stuff and I was really quite scared. I was knocking on the door really hard at this point but after insulting me and laughing they walked off towards a busy road. I watched they as they walked out into the traffic waving their arms at the cars to stop for them then giving the drivers the finger. Suddenly one of the cars stopped and four big guys got out. One of the nasty dudes ran off but the big man got caught and shoved. Hard. Against the car a couple of times clearly hurting his head and elbow. Then one of the car guys made out that he was going to punch him. Big time. Drawing his fist far back. The little shti just covered his face and screamed. They didn't get hit but the car guys and a lot of passes by burst out laughing. They let him go and he ran away. That felt good. When I was driving my jeep very carefully in a snowstorm and someone in a Mustang passed me in an unsafe manner. He almost lost control of his car. Which would have caused an accident that included me. Picture someone dangerously fishtailing right in front of you with an 18 wheeler coming at you in the other lane. Saw him in the ditch about 5 minutes later. Idiot. This happened to me in London with a sudden snow flurry. I was driving down a hill and my car was sliding towards parked cars so I was taking it slow. The guy behind was driving a Land Rover and tooting at me to hurry up. Ending up overtaking me at speed. Get home a few minutes later and the guy is sitting on my garden wall with a gash on his head. His car had crashed into the central bollards. I asked him if he wanted to come in to wait for the emergency services but he was too embarrassed. Couldn't help myself and told him he was driving too fast. He said he thought Land Rovers were made to drive in those conditions. When I was a kid. We visited Montreal. I had gotten a hockey puck as a souvenir. While we were in our hotel. My sister decided to mess with me by hiding it. I got mad and yelled in my high pitched voice give me back my hockey puck. Before smacking her in the head with a pillow. Guess where she had hidden it. I'm from San Diego and during the summer. You have to acclaim bonfire pits on the beach really in the morning if you want it for that night. So my friends and I got to the beach at 8am and stayed there so we can get a bonfire going into the night. Just before sundown. This one couple asked if they could share the bonfire with us and since our group wasn't too big. We decided to share it with them. However that couple proceeded to bring a group of like 15 others and they literally surrounded the pit and pushed us out. We were pissed but we were so tired from being at the beach all day so we decided to head out. Little did we know what that night had an extreme high tide warning and when we moved all of our stuff over the wall that divided the beach walk with the beach. A huge wave came in and washed out that whole group surrounded by our bonfire. The wave flipped over their table of food. Took a handful of sandals back into the ocean. And destroyed all their stuff. The best part was this one girl was trying to jump the wall to save herself but she didn't jump high enough and ended up falling right back into the waters. Calm as a bitch. I was running laps on a grass field in the military when I was about to lap a guy who'd always lap the shti out of me. So as I passed him I yelled gotcha. Bitch. And immediately stepped in a hole in the ground and twisted my ankle. Despite the pain of jacking my ankle up. I thought the karmic payout was hilariously timed. Last Saturday I was on a crowded Nick subway at 2am. Two drunk dudes. Young 20s. Lighting a joint and walking around flaunting it. One literally came up to me you think a pothead ain't gonna smoke a joint? Comma whatever that means. Close bracket. The whole train kept ignoring them. And they kept parading around being a bunch of morons. They spotted two taller. Athletic looking dudes and started making fun of them for looking like cops. Double quote. It was the line which one of you is the sergeant? That finally put the athletic guys over the edge. They looked at each other. Smiled. Reached into their pocket and pulled out their badges. Okay boys. Empty your pockets. Double quote. 
the subway blew up in laughter. They would have gotten away with everything if they just didn't go bother the two plainclothes police officers. Score one for the good guys. And then I went home and smoked a joint in my living room. Happened to me at work. Meth head was trying to pay with like a thousand coins for a five dollar scratch off. She tried to say she was only ten cents short. Ended up being over a dollar short. Then complained and said any decent person would have spotted her the money. Pretty much told her she could go down the street and try there if she'd like. She pulled out a 20 and bought two. As she walked out the store she said Carmo's a bitch. When she gets to her car a cop pulls up behind blocking her in. They proceed to search the car then arrest her and her boyfriend. It was hilarious. FCK her. Edit. Since people are curious about why they searched the car. There was more to the story. But I was typing it on my phone at work. There were 4 meth heads in total. She was just the only one that was giving me a problem. The cops showed up in the parking lot either already looking for these people. Or just by coincidence. They knew the car. It was beat up and pretty recognizable if you happen to see it. Two of the guys saw the cops when they were outside smoking the cigarette. While I was dealing with her. They came inside and went out the other door. She went back out to the car a few minutes later where the driver. Her boyfriend I'm assuming. Was already in the car. They searched it because they talked to them ran their IDs and they both had warrants. They were already in handcuffs in the police car when they searched the meth head's car. I got rear-ended in a turn lane by a girl texting. She was doing 45 miles per hour and I was stopped. No major injuries. I went to her court date hoping she got a big fine or something. She got a $50 ticket. I was a little bit upset. As I was sitting at the stoplight to pull out of the court I watched her run a red light and bone a cop. I don't normally laugh at other people's misfortune. However. I laughed my ass off at that one. Sitting on a highway late at night because of a bad car accident. The highway was packed and barely moving. One guy thinks he's smarter than everyone else and tries to drive on the shoulder. He makes it a good little ways before running into an on-ramp. Also packed with cars. He had nowhere to go. And no one let him in. He was stuck between cars in the rightmost lane and cars from the on-ramp. Everyone stuck bumper to bumper and flowed around him. I went from watching him pass me and almost getting out of my view to passing him and losing sight of him in my rear view. I was at a party one time. And this one girl couldn't stop talking shti about this other girl that was coming to the party. The other girl shows up and this dude picked her up and hugged her and spun her around in a way where her foot kicked the girl that was talking shti right in the head face while she was sitting on the couch. Her beer spilled all over her and she caught a black eye. The other day I was taking my dog for a walk around the neighborhood. She squatted down to take a shti and I reached for my doggy bags only to realize I was fresh out. So I peeked around making sure nobody was looking. And I just left it. 10 minutes later I'm walking across the road and I cut through a thin grass median in the center and what do you know, I step in dog shit. I wasn't even mad. I knew I deserved it. I was working at a summer camp this past summer. And all the male campers and staff were playing dodgeball while the girls cabins did their own girl night kind of thing. It was campers and JR. Staff versus staff. And it was kinda nearing the end of the night. So the rules for the staff were that if you got hit. You were done with no way of revival. I looked across the gym and saw that one of my fellow staff was hit and laying on the ground with his hands behind his head. So naturally I grab a dodgeball. Sneak around behind him keeping myself out of his field of view. And throw the ball at his dick. As I was laughing and running away. It bounced off his DCK and. Without hesitation. He brought his leg up and kicked the ball as hard as he could. And it hit me straight in the face with enough force to knock me off my feet. A shy. Meek. New kid on the block I used to pick on beat the shti out of me. I was 10 and he was 12. We lived on same street and he would walk past my house on the way home from school. After several days of teasing him. He paused and stared into my eyes. I walked up towards the driveway and got in his face. 
At which point he unleashed the craziest barrage of punches and kickboxing combinations that I simply did not expect. I took a few to my eye. And bloodied my face. Needless to say. He made me cry and run away like a bitch. Dot. This was one of the most transformational experiences of my life. It taught me self-control. Humility. And absolute respect for the hidden strengths of people around me. My son's mom. She left me and my son when he was 2 months old. She decided all she wanted to do was be out at the clubs and fking random guys instead of being a mom. My son is 10 now. We don't talk to her. But judging from her Facebook her life is a mess. Now has 4 kids with different dads and has been in jail in and out. Child protective services have a scope on her. She doesn't have anything at all to do with my son. But. She posted on her Facebook that the reason her life is a mess is because her firstborn child's father, me, put witchcraft on her. Haha <laughs> nope not me. That is called karma and it's a bitch. Meanwhile me and my son have lives a wonderful life. Walking back from a job training. I see two young boys. Maybe 11 years old. Playfully throwing rocks at each other from the top stories of two adjacent construction sites. Boy 1 sees me approaching. Breaks the gaze of his friend and starts shouting Ferengi Ferengi China China Monia E. At me. Boy 2 takes this as the perfect opportunity to wind up and throw a rock directly into his friend's testicles. Boy 1 crumples to the ground. While Boy 2 and I share a laugh over this incredible moment. Late to the party. Some little toddler punk grabbed at the just poured hot coffee meant for me. The barista tried to stop the kid but this kid was not having it. He took a huge sip. I think mistaking it for the pumpkin spice latte his mama ordered for him while in line before me. And promptly made a face. Spit it out. And dropped the hot coffee all over himself. Cries ensue. Mom berates the employee for letting this happen. Waving her own large frappe wildly in the air. Little Hellion is still throwing full tantrum on the floor. Pulls at his mom's pants and then the frappe falls on him too. I giggled. When I was in middle school I was sitting at lunch with my normal lunch group. There wasn't any room for this one guy at the table so he sat at the table next to us by himself. One of our friends felt bad so he left our table and sat next to him. The kid who was originally sitting by himself moved to our table. Took the other guy's old spot and leaving the other guy completely alone. We all moved to the other table and left him alone again. A cyclist flew through a red light at an intersection and I almost clobbered him. I'm used to these guys so I just harumphed and slowed down. This guy cuts me off again and flicks me off in the same motion. I used to be a smoker and a litterer back then so in my frustration I flicked my butt out my window and put both hands on the wheel. The butt caught the wind and flicked back into the cyclist's face causing him to crash into the median. I'm not too happy about how satisfying it is still thinking about it. Late to the party but this happened to me. When I was younger, high school, my city had automatic sprinklers in most of the parks and areas with grass. They would turn on automatically at like 3 or 4 am. So being a young dumb kid me and my friends figured out if you kicked them hard enough the top would break off and the sprinkler would full force shoot a huge stream into the air from then on. We thought it was hilarious and were never caught. We kept on with this until one day they started replacing them with new super strong steel ones. I kicked one and broke my big toe and while in agony rolled my ankle so fking bad it was bruised up for a week and has never been the same. Ex-wife cheated on me while I was deployed. Drained our bank accounts. And sold all my tools. Two snap on rollaways filled with tools. After we divorced she lost her job. Totaled her car. The guy she cheated with left her. Her mom died and she lost her apartment. Yeah karma can be a bitch. I was in daycare as a child. I had very long hair that my dad always put into a ponytail. There was a girl that would pull my ponytail all the time. We were doing a musical chairs thing at the end of the day while parents were picking us up. The girl was behind me and kept yanking my ponytail. I kept telling her to stop. The teacher didn't see anything so I can't do anything about it. There were a bunch of parents waiting for us to finish our game. 
My mom included and she kept doing it and the teacher didn't see it so I turned around and punched her as hard as I could. She stumbled into the cubbies where we kept our coats. The teacher tried to chastise me and my mom was like nope. I didn't see anything. Didn't even get in trouble. Had a moron driver in a Porsche convertible tailgating me on a 6 lane highway. I wasn't in the far right lane. But I was in the middle so he still could have passed if he wanted to. He finally passes me and blows his horn at me as he blows past. We get on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and it immediately starts torrentially pouring. There was nowhere for him to stop so he had to drive a several mile long bridge with his top down the whole way. I work in an ER and once a girl got brought in by ambulance after being assaulted. She was walking down the street when some guy tackled her to the ground and tried to drag her down an alley. A good Samaritan managed to chase him off and call the cops. Like 20 minutes later they brought in a guy in full cardiac arrest. Turns out the police found the attacker and chased him several blocks where he collapsed and his heart gave out. He was dead on arrival and the victim I dead him right in the ER. On a trip back parking around Greece once I had a bad experience in a hotel and decided to take one of their beautifully painted stone eggs from the bowl in the reception as compensation. When we were on the ferry to the next island I started noticing a horrible smell coming from my bag. It turns out that it was not a stone egg at all. But a painted boiled egg that had broken in my bag. The whole thing had become so rotten it had turned a nice shade of green and the smell was almost intolerable. I had to borrow a lot of my friends clothes for the rest of the trip but at least it taught me a good lesson. Not my story but my mom's. Apparently when she was a young lass. There was a girl at school who was always a major BTCH to her. Hated my mom for whatever reason and always made fun of her. Fast forward to my mom as a college age woman now dating a guitarist from Bob Molly's band. Out at a bar with him getting a drink. Dude goes to the bathroom and said BTCH from back in the day comes up to my mom and says. OMG. Did you see who is here? At that moment. Dude comes and puts his arm around my mom and says hey babe. What's happening? She said the look on that girl's face was priceless. This is from my younger years. A friend of mine had a cousin visiting around Victoria Day in Canada. Aka firecracker day. When I went to visit him. I was told he was in the backyard. I go back there and he and his cousin are setting off firecrackers. They have a big bowl of loose firecrackers. I ask if I can set a couple off as well and both my friend and his cousin start tossing lit firecrackers at me while laughing. I figure that they are both acting like greedy assholes. So I decided to leave. Just as I'm about to leave a spark gets into the bowl. The entire bowl of firecrackers ignite leaving only a few unexploded. This lasted about 10 or 15 seconds. The stunned look on my friend and cousin's face was pure calm as a bitch. I'm laughing at them. I'm sure they planned a whole afternoon of setting them off. I work for a contracted unloading service in a warehouse. One of the guys on my crew is an absolute little BTCH sometimes. Complains about his work. Tries to leave early every day. Bum cigarettes off everyone without ever bringing his own pack. Etc. He even owes some of my other co-workers money. I believe. But I digress. On Thursday. He lost his shti over a produce load and threw a temper tantrum. Kicking boxes. Tearing down tall pallets of product. And causing a lot of damage. Right as the site manager walked by his trailer door. Got suspended without pay and was told he is on his last chance with the company. Now it's only a matter of time before he gets fired. Sweet. Sweet. Karma. Last spring I didn't get a date to the junior prom. I wasn't thrilled but I figured I'd go stag. I found the perfect dress and was actually really excited. Then my group of friends said I couldn't come with them. Why? I didn't have a date and it would ruin the pictures if I stood by myself. And since I wasn't going to be in the pictures. They said. Wouldn't it just be so awkward for me to get ready with them and be at Claudia's, the ringleader, house beforehand? And of course. Wouldn't I just be so uncomfortable being the only one in the limo with no boyfriend? And what would I do afterwards anyways? I mean everyone knows what happens at the parties after prom. So I didn't go at all. 
guess whose limo never showed up? My old manager was a monster. Belittled people. Made a hostile environment. Denied anything that would make co-workers happy while giving himself every comfort. Even denied me a half day to go to my mother's funeral. Adding. Would it be a big deal if you can go? He finally stepped on his DCK after he wrote up a fictitious counseling statement about someone and the entire office revolted. The manager wasn't fired like we wanted. But he was relieved. So in comes the new manager. Very well regarded. 20 year Air Force veteran. Retired at E9. Humble guy who knew how to handle people. We have our first awkward team meeting. Old manager bitterly in attendance. As the new manager is giving his nice to meet you speech. He sees the doucher bag glaring around the table trying to intimidate people. He stops talking. Pauses for a few seconds. And then says. You know. When I was in the air force I learned that if you take care of your people. They'll take care of you. He then stared directly at the old manager and said. And if you don't take care of your people. They'll take care of you. He then stared directly at the old manager and said, and if you don't take care of your people, 